Good day everyone. Let's try to answer some math problem posted on Facebook. And special credits to Master Hamed CBB for sharing this wonderful question. And I hope I pronounced your name correctly. So let's start. Here's the question. Solve for the real values of x. We have x raised to x plus 4 equals cube root of x. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. And if you're ready, here's the solution. First thing to do is to simplify this equation. So if we have n truth of b raised to m, it is equal to b raised to m over n. Now, this cube root of x can be written as x raised to 1 over 3. Next, divide both sides by x raised to 1 third and we get x raised to x plus 4 all over x raised to 1 third equals 1. Now, using some loss of exponent, if we have b raised to m all over b raised to n, it is equal to b raised to m minus n. So, this becomes x raised to x plus 4 minus 1 third and 4 minus 1 third will give us 11 over 3. So, our equation now becomes x raised to x plus 11 over 3 equals 1. Now, let's focus on this equation. We will do some cases. Now, since this equation is equal to 1, our first case is the exponent is equal to 0. It follows that x plus 11 over 3 must be equal to 0. Therefore, x equals negative 11 over 3. So this is our first answer. Next, for case number 2, since it is equal to 1, therefore the base is equal to 1. Therefore, x equals 1 x equals 1 is a valid solution. Let's check. If x equal to 1, we have 1 raised to 1 plus 11 over 3, and 1 raised to something is simply 1. Therefore, x equals 1 is also a solution. Now, case number 3, if the base is equal to negative 1. Now, let's check. If x equals negative 1 is a valid solution. Now, replace x by negative 1. So, we have negative 1 raised to negative 1 plus 11 over 3. Now, negative 1 plus 11 over 3 will give us 8 over 3. Negative 1 raised to 8 over 3 can be written as cube root of negative 1 raised to 8. And negative 1 raised to 8 is simply positive 1. And the cube root of positive 1 is simply 1. Therefore, x equals negative 1 is a valid solution. Now, since it is a tricky equation, let's see what case do we miss. Going back to the original equation, and let's see. Now, what if x equals 0, or the 0 case? So, let's see. 0 raised to 0 plus 4, 0 raised to 4 is 0, and the cube root of 0 is simply 0. Therefore, 0 equals 0. Therefore, x equals 0 is a valid solution. So, we have 4 solutions. We have x equals to negative 11 over 3, x equals 1, x equals negative 1, and x equals 0. And we're done.